Sushi lovers can finally celebrate their love for the Japanese delicacy. Last night, Japanese chefs and foodies tried every spin possible to create a different kind of sushi. For that matching taste, patrons could get a bottle of beer or even a bottle of wine for that fancy taste. The Japanese Canadian Cultural Center is hosting a two-day event with music by local artists. Executive chef Joe Friday worked with other chefs to put a Filipino twist on the Japanese delicacy. I lived in Japan for 10 years and I feel like culture itself and food is just amazing. Like so many different cultures around the world and food and cuisines. It's amazing to have a festival focused on one culture but also be able to put whatever else you want into it. There were also vegetarian options for those who couldn't eat fish. Joshua Siva says both the event and the flavors were beyond his expectations. I mean, people got to eat and people love to eat. And what a better way to do it than bring together, bring everyone around a cultural event in an amazing place like the Japanese Cultural Center. Win-win for everyone. Everyone I've seen is having a great time. So, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. For that special treatment, VIPs were served their sushi, not only from these vendors, but also had a taste of cooking from Top Chef Canada's Dennis Tay. The event was originally scheduled for the Roy Thompson Hall, but operations manager Max Menemini says it had to be moved to a bigger location. We thought that the Roy Thompson Hall, at the end of the day, it's a great downtown location, but we felt that that ethnic vibe wasn't going to be supervised as well as we wanted to be if it wasn't in a Japanese culture center, and that's why we made the move. He said the venue was set for 500 people on both days. If you missed the chance for this year's festival, Menemini says he hopes for another big festival just like this. Now this event is sold out, but it will continue again today at 5 o'clock. Donna Civilian, Hummer News.